Hi, this is Phone Arena with a video review of the Nokia C503. The phone is a mid-range device similar to the Nokia C601. Unfortunately, it comes with the dated Symbian One OS and the resistive touchscreen. As you can see, we have a 3.2 inch resistive touchscreen uh, with very poor viewing angles and in direct sunlight the screen is not very visible also. What you can see on the phone is uh, on the top part there is a ear speaker and at the base there are three keys, physical keys. There is the uh, call key, the menu key and the end key. The phone is made of black glossy plastic and you have a white version as well. And at the base you have uh, different color combinations. Uh, we have green and the phone is also eco-friendly. It is made of 80% uh, recyclable materials and the packaging is half made of recyclable materials as well. On the side of the device there is the lock unlock key and the volume rocker. And on the back there is the 5 megapixel fixed focus camera which has no flash. Uh, at the base of the device there is also the speaker phone. Overall it is a, a well built device. It is light at just 93 grams but doesn't have anything that, that would be high end or that would differentiate it from other devices. But uh, design wise it's nice. The first thing that you see when you fire up the phone is the home screen of the Symbian One. It is a pretty good uh, home screen. It has the contact bar. You can add as much contacts as you want and uh, when you click on the contact it has the RSS feed option as well as the latest events and we find this useful although on a 3.2 inch screen uh, it is hard to read all the information correctly. As you can see it just uh, refreshed the latest feeds from phonearena.com and the phone comes with 3G and Wi-Fi connectivity as well and uh, you can see that the home screen has a, a couple of uh, menus that are touch optimized. You can set your profiles from uh, the middle part of the, of the top of the home screen and uh, there is also notifications about the latest events. As you can see there is also uh, notifications about your email and uh, your Wi-Fi connection and here is some uh, empty space for the music player. There are four shortcuts. You can see we have messaging, a camera, a shortcut to the OV store and the uh, OV maps navigation. The next, the next thing we will look at is the menu. Uh, it supports kinetic scrolling which is okay but still a bit laggy. The phone comes with a 600 megahertz uh, ARM11 processor and uh, it does the job but it's not as fast as you would want it to be and it lags noticeably in some applications such as the gallery and uh, we can take a look at this now. And the phone com comes with 128 megabytes of RAM you can see the lag here in the gallery application which is significant. But otherwise in all the other menus the phone performs relatively well. One thing Nokia is especially proud with is free navigation with OV Maps 3.0 and uh, the OV Maps includes uh, voice guided navigation and uh, as well as the maps themselves. And uh, this is a useful feature, however, we're not sure if it will be that useful on such a small screen as 3.2 inches. It seems a bit on the small side. And uh, here you can see uh, driving navigations, driving navigation directions with the built-in A GPS module. Browsing is a painful experience on the default browser by Nokia, so we will show you how browsing is handled by uh, Opera Mobile, which is a free download on the OV Store. It is much better and it is relatively smooth. We go to Applications and uh, in the Installed Applications folder you find Opera Mobile, which is our alternative to the default browser. And uh, let's take a look at the 
the loading time for phonearena.com uh, it should be relatively good on Opera Mobile and uh, as you can see it has the uh, start menu with uh, nine tabs uh, or rather nine icons for the your favorite websites is a bit on the slow side now and it seems to have loaded to have almost loaded here we are after uh, almost a minute and uh, sometimes you will see this a memory full message although that's the second or third time that we have this on our Nokia C503 and the uh, zooming on the Opera Mobile is performed with double tabs but otherwise you can the, the pages are rendered almost as a as on a desktop PC uh, unfortunately a bit slower but that's expected messaging on the phone is uh, Okay, however, as uh, you might know, in uh, Symbian 1 there is no, no portrait query, so you, you have to use the standard uh, keyboard layout to type in your messages. Situation is much, the situation is much better in, uh, when you switch to portrait view. You have the full query there, and typing is pretty good. As you can see, we made almost no mistakes. Photographs taken with the Nokia C503 are nothing extraordinary. As we said, the camera is fixed focus, uh, so this might be a problem. We took the pictures in uh, cloudy weather, so maybe they're not the perfect examples. But uh, otherwise, the phone is not something that we would recommend using as a camera replacement. Uh, you can use it when you forgot your camera and it will do the job but nothing more. A fixed focus camera also means that uh, you cannot shoot objects up close and the maximum distance you can uh, approach an object and expect it to come out in focus is 20 inches. And finally the music player uh, is the familiar Symbian 1 music player. It has cover art um, and let's go into the music player and see how loud it uh, plays music. We found the quality pretty clean and loud and we like it. Uh, so let's play a song. Just a random song by Joe Satriani. Uh, if we pump up the volume to the maximum you can hear that there is no audible dis distortion of the sound and the music player produces a nice uh, overall sound and uh, as you can see on the home screen there's uh, music player controls as well which is okay. The call quality on the Nokia C503 is good. Voices were clear and sounded natural and our callers reported hearing us clear and loud as well. Battery life is rated at 11.5 hours of talk time and we find, found that with moderate use the device lasted around 2 days, which is pretty good. For a mid-range device the Nokia C503 gives you plenty of connectivity. You have 3G and Wi-Fi on board and the free navigation with OV maps is a good addition. But on the background of devices such as the HTC Wildfire and the LG Optimus One, which also fall in the mid-range category of Android devices, uh, the Nokia C503 looks dated with the Symbian One OS and the resistive touchscreen.